can't be distilled water. I'm gonna do a whole video on that at some point. But hello, welcome back to my channel. My name's Ella if you're new here and I do lots of random videos on lots of random things. I thought I'd just sit down and do a little bit of a chatty video. It is gorgeous. I love saying that, gorgeous outside today. It is pure sunshine. I think it's like 30 degrees. We've had a couple of really lovely days in London, weather-wise. Um, and I've been very busy, as usual, with the work and auditions and, God, the anxiety is always high in my, in, in myself. Uh, I blame it on my work because I'm constantly waiting on p getting potential jobs or being told I don't have potential jobs. So like every time my phone rings, I've got that like excited, anxious feeling. And uh, one really good way <laughs> to distract myself from that um, is shopping. Not the best way. 100% I should probably like pick up a book or something but no I just I go shopping um and it actually came at a really good time that cherries if you can see the box in the background um sent me a little email and asked whether I'd like to have a look through some of their stuff online and order some bits um and I was like hell yeah because cherries for those of you who don't know is an online uh, discounted, well it's not, I don't think it's discounted but it's, it's pretty cheap website with loads of different bits on there, honestly they've got everything from, oh I'm just going to wait until this plane passes they've got everything from your cleaning bits little trinkets, furniture bits, water bottles kitchen utensils, they've got everything on there and so it's a little bit, for those of you who live in England I would say it's like an online savers sort of style but with some some nicer bits on there as well so i thought i would just go through this big big box of goodies the most random selection of stuff ever um and show you what i got from cherries i do have a discount code which i will link i'll put it in the description box down below and also on the screen Starting off with, I think I'll start off with like the basics. Kitchen roll, honestly. This is my favourite kitchen roll. <laughs> it's ridiculous, but I've got a very particular, me and Johan both actually have, have this one as our favourite. Because the sheets are really thick and they're also really big. So this lasts forever. I mean, it's huge as well. I've got some kitchen roll. I'm literally going to take everything out of the box and then just chuck it on the floor to deal with later. The next thing I picked up was a microwavable lid. There was actually two that came in this pack. And I don't know, I grew up with microwavable lids. I don't know why I haven't had one, even though we have a microwave ever as an adult. But if you're microwaving your food, the best way to keep it from getting, from drying out in the microwave is to put a plate or a lid on it. And so I thought I'd pick some of those up. So everybody, you know, I like lo I like looking at people's cleaning blogs. I like I like a little bit of um, yeah, some satisfying cleaning montages. Um, when I am particularly anxious, I I always end up doing deep cleaning. Uh, I don't know why, just organising and cleaning when I'm anxious gives me somewhere to put that energy. So I've got some pink stuff toilet cleaner. We usually use the e-cover one, I think, um, but I've heard really good stuff about this. I use the pink stuff paste all the time, so I'm going to give that a go. Got some cling film. I do try to use reusable um, like bags and reusable covers. I did actually, I used to have some reusable wax like beeswax um covers that were really good but i don't know where they've gone i should probably invest in some of those but i always do think cling film is good to have to have around for when for whenever i do need it some more essentials i got the imperial leather um 
shower cream. I use this mostly as like a bubble bath and I like Imperial Leather because it's vegan. So I always get that. I got some more clips. Um, unfortunately, the Ikea that's closest to us is shutting down. I know they're actually opening up an Ikea on Oxford Street, I think. So I think now that will be the closest one to us. Um, but we're running low on the clip, the clip front. And I use these for everything. So every single packet that's half opened in my cupboard, which is a lot because I don't go through one thing at a time. I always open like multiple different things has a clip on it so these always come in handy picked up some i would say they're like fake command strips these are like the velcro ones i think are these the velcro um they're not the actual command um brand but we did try some command strips i don't know if you can see we've got a new canvas in the background which is put up with command strips We've got one in the hallway, one in the kitchen as well. I am going to do an updated house tour at some point, guys. Because um, I know everybody loves to see that. And I think we've really changed the place. But I'm just waiting until a time where it feels tidy enough to want to do that. I don't think that's ever going to come. So I might just have to do a messy house tour. Um, but we're going to try and put up a big fabric map with these. We did try with the actual command strip ones. Um, but it fell down like the next day so we'll see if those work any differently some rubber gloves because i think it's always good to be wearing gloves when we're doing the washing up unfortunately we don't have dishwasher that ah, would make life so much easier to have a dishwasher um but we don't and so we do a lot of washing up and a lot of hands in washing up soap and hot water and having gloves is really good to prevent any dry and cracked and sore hand skin hand skin always need to have some paracetamol in the house i picked up two packs just because i often end up well no not often actually but if you don't know i suffer with chronic kidney disease so i often have like pains here and there and then that as well as periods and you know you always need <laughs> some paracetamol in your house so that's always good to make sure you've got plenty of oh, i've got another of the imperial leather this one is um polynesian paradise and sweet peony oh yes smells delicious and cotton clouds and white cashmere oh yeah makes me want to have a bath now or at least a shower i'm sweating and then whenever we go away and end up hiring out a car, um, we always wish that we had somewhere to put the phone when we're looking at sat nav or whatever. I say we, I don't drive. Johan's the one that does all the driving. But I thought I would pick up one of these little car vent phone holder things so you can just pop it in the car vent so it's gonna fit in every car that has a car vent, which I think is every car, right? And then you've got yourself a little portable hold, uh, phone holder. So I think that's a really good thing. Considering we do rent out cars relatively frequently, um, I thought I would invest in our own one of these because not always do cars come with their own fo phone holder. Just makes life a little bit easier. So I get so travel sick as well. So looking down at a phone at a map is not, not what I like to do. So if I don't have to hold it and it can just be up and Johan can be looking at it, that sorts that problem. I got two food drinky bits. Um, I got some double stuffed Oreos. I love the double stuffed ones because the cream is my favorite bit. And for those of you who didn't know, Oreos are accidentally vegan, which is fantastic. Love a good Oreo. And then some Oatly chocolate drink and this on cherries was so much cheaper than i ever see it in the supermarket so i definitely had to pick up one of these i like drinking this just cold or if i want to jazz up my coffee in the morning adding some of this chocolate chocolate oat milk to it delicious absolutely delicious so that was a bargain and then finally i've got a few little home bits right so 
I got this little, this is the cutest little thing ever, right? This little jar. A lot of these things, right, I didn't know how big they were gonna be. This is smaller than I thought it was gonna be. I was picturing like my oats <laughs> in here or something. I didn't look at the measurements. It's tiny, it's much more like a little sugar um, jar, but how cute is this? And it's got a little spoon that, I can, you know, that you can use. So I think I'll either keep sugar or coca, cocoa powder. Um, what else could we put in there? You could always put like cinnamon or, or, or do we put like um, chia seeds in there? That might be a good chia seed or flaxseed jar. Anyway, I thought that was so cute and I want that out in the kitchen because it's just so cute. So I got that. Um, I got some new measuring spoons. We have a f an odd set of measuring spoons that they don't stick together like this. They're just a little bit of a nightmare to find in the cupboard. And I thought, why not invest in some, I mean, it's hardly an investment, but why not buy myself some new little measuring spoons? Because I do do a lot of cooking. I don't usually do measurements, but you know, it's handy for when I do want to follow the recipe. Then I got this little basket, which is so cute. I'm actually planning on putting it I was planning on replacing a big basket that I have on top of the wardrobe over there. Um, this is much smaller than I thought it was gonna be. It's so cute though. So I think I will put it, I put my belts and my like spare bags in it on top of the wardrobe. I can either do that or use it in the living room. Um, but I'm thinking I'll put it up there. I'll show you guys what I end up doing. But how cute is that? It's just a little woven basket. It's like very boho vibes. Um, and that was a bit of a bargain as well. I think it was like eight pound or something. Super cute. And lastly, for Marley, I got this. This is really cute as well. I got this little, um, I'll put it this way up. This little cat mat that's shaped like a cat. And I thought that would be perfect because Marley is a really messy eater. He spills his biscuits all over the floor, all surrounding his bowls, and I'm constantly having to sweep them up. And instead, I could just lift up this whole thing and like pour all the biscuits that is spilt onto the floor back into the bowl. Um, so I'll show you when I put that down as well, because I think it will look really cute in the kitchen. And that is everything that I got from Cherries. So thank you so much to Cherries for allowing me to explore your website and order some bits. And I will leave the link of the discount code below. I think you get 25% off, um, but I'll put it up on the screen. Um, and honestly, very, very impressive Cherries. And not only did I get a big box of stuff for an absolute bargain, but this box is gonna be Marley's favorite thing to be playing in. It's been so funny. It came with like a big bit of like paper at the top of the box and I've never seen a cat go so mad over a bit of paper. He absolutely loved it. So not only did I get all of this, but I got two toys for my cat as well. So yeah, I'm gonna get putting some of these little bits away. It is a beautiful day. So we're gonna go out a little bit later, but I think I'm gonna tidy up the house a little bit. Um, so maybe I'll show you a little bit of that show you where I put these things and finish off this very chilled out and chatty video. Um, but yeah, let's let's get tidying because I mean, right now, this is a mess. I mean, let's just be real. This is the current state of our kitchen. I've got my sourdough starter because I've been trying to make some sourdough bread. Empty, <laughs> empty pots all over the place. Dinner from last night. Uh, almost full but full uh, food bin and way too much recycling. So let's sort this out.
I made some spaghetti bolognese last night and we had some leftovers so that now needs to go into here. <laughs> Do you like that? God, I'm clever. Always the trickiest part of the job, actually. There's no way I can do this one handed. So this is what I mean when I say Marley is messy. This isn't even anywhere near as bad as it's been, so I'm gonna clean these, clean this up, put that mat down, and I'll show you how it looks. Oh my goodness, I am obsessed. It looks like eyes. This is the cutest thing ever. Well, I've just poured some new biscuits out for Marley, so he's going straight to eat them. But look how cute this is. This might have to be my favorite thing. What do you think, Marley? Mmm. Gonna take this out. Put a load of washing on. I don't have many chia seeds right now, but... Cute. This is Marley's water fountain. He absolutely loves it. Oh, wow. Well done. Fantastic. I'm sure this is still messy to some, but this feels a hell of a lot better. And just like that, I feel in myself 10 times better as well. But yeah, that's it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. A very chatty and chilled out one. I hope you're all doing well and enjoying the British summertime. I'm gonna go out and enjoy it myself in a minute. I've got a little bit of a tan, but I wanna get proper tan this summer. I wanna be like properly tan. So that is my goal. Um, but yeah, I hope you're having a good day. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you have ever shopped at Cherries and if not, would you? I'll leave the link to my discount code down below. And thanks so much to Cherries for letting me do this video for them as well. And I will see you guys in the next video.